So back by popular demand here on United People's TV, we're joined again today by everyone's favourite German, maybe second favourite German behind Ralph Ragnick, and that's Guido Schaefer. How are you doing today, Guido? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you, you for the invitation. Oh, mate, everybody loved you. Uh, they, they wanted to get you back on as soon as possible. Uh, you're a great personality, a great character, wow. and it's very good for us Manchester United fans to hear from somebody who knows Ralph Radnick personally uh, and has has a good friendship with him over the years. Uh, Ra you know, Ralph's had, I would say, a good start so far at Manchester United. He's had, he's had three games. Obviously, Crystal Palace was the first one. Then we had the game against Young Boys, uh, one all in the Champions League. Lots of changes in that game. And then we played Norwich. So two wins, two clean sheets and a draw in the Champions League. You know, ha have... Have you managed to speak to Ralph at all or heard from anybody from how how is he setting again at Manchester United? Do you know? Yeah, I, I sent him uh, some short messages and uh, uh, gave him some congrats for the for the first matches. And uh, he's, he's so he's so delighted. Uh, he's so happy to, to be in this. Uh, I think the, the the biggest club in the world, and uh, and the, he's um, also. I told you in, in our first interview, he sees a great manager to uh, twenty four seven man. He's working uh, uh, over every day, every minute, and uh, he spent his his lifetime now for Manchester United. And he sent me a message that this is this is a great club, and this is uh, for me is uh, also a great challenge. And right now, of course. Uh there's an even bigger challenge with COVID-19. So yeah. our game against Brighton on Saturday, it's been postponed. We've had our game against Brentford postponed as well. Yes. Now, now, Ralph is somebody who has his system and he has his way of playing football. Yes. And it takes, to, it takes time for clubs to learn how to play that. Do you think that this, this break will, will help Ralph in terms of giving him a little bit more time? Or do you think it makes it more difficult for him? Uh, if it's possible, uh, is he able to to train with the, with the team? I don't know. When when he has time to train, this is uh, is this a great advantage for him. Without training, it's not so easy. Uh, only to watch videos and to speak together. Uh, I think the, the the work on the pitch is the most important thing, and this is also uh, um, one thing that uh, that Ralph is, is is a world class manager on the pitch, also out of the pitch, but on the pitch to speak with the players to show them. How to move on the pitch, and uh, if it's not possible now to train, it's it's a great disadvantage for Man United and also for for Ralph Rangnick. Yeah, with, so at the moment our training facilities are closed, so they're not open. So it must only be, as you say, uh, analyzing videos, having conversations, yes. with, having conversations with the players. Uh, I remember when we spoke last time, uh, and you were jokingly saying that you know Ralph Ralph is crazy. Ralph is a uh, Ralph is, is somebody. Ralph is somebody who, from uh, us fans looking at him, is somebody who's very intelligent, very experienced. But you obviously, you you know, you know a different side to Ralph. Uh, how how do you think he will be uh, coping with this this break in the football? Do you think what what will he be trying to do to turn it into an advantage for Manchester United? Do you think? Yes, I think the the Manchester United uh, played uh, underrated. They are they are uh, a good good team, a good squad, but uh, they they played not well under the former coach. Um, I think it's uh, I I love um, Solskjaer. He's a nice and lovely guy and, and and a hero for Manchester United. But I think he's he's not so a, so a big and and a great coach like like Jurgen Klopp, also like Ralph Rangnick. In, in tactics in the whole package and uh, Ralph will, will bring the whole package to Manchester United he needs a little bit time yes but uh, the squad is, is is okay he told me it's very good but uh, perhaps he, he will uh, buy in the in the now in, in the winter time he will buy one or two players uh, perhaps Amadou Haidara I don't know exactly and he he wants to to reach the Champions League. Yes, yes. He wants to come under the first four teams, and I think this team is able to do this to to reach this. And uh, uh, there's a great choice to to have uh, Ralph Rangnick. For me, is uh, one of the the best uh, managers all over the world. Now, do you know if there have been any players that Ralph has been particularly impressed with, or? 
if there's any players that Ralph has sort of struggled to work with so far. And maybe in, in his experiences with, with Leipzig, of course, and, and at Salzburg, you know, are there any players at Manchester United so far, such as uh, Anthony Alanga, who's a young Swedish striker that we have, who I know he's been quite impressed with. Um, are there any others that you know that he's been he's seen so far and thought, wow, obviously apart from Cristiano Ronaldo? Uh, you speak about the, the, the team from Menu now? Yeah. Yes, I, I know that, uh, that Ralf Rangnick uh, is, is impressed from the quality in the squad. It's a big quality, but uh, he's also uh, looking for for other guys. And I think uh, when he, it's it's for him and for Manchester United, a, a good player would be uh, Christopher Nkungu in former times uh, in, in in the future. He's he's uh, he's so perfect player, and he have all skills uh, which are needed for world cl uh, world class squad. And uh, when United is is world class. Now, if I can go back and, as I said, you, you, you've said that Ralph is crazy. Something that, not, not that Ralph is crazy, but, you know, he has that side to him, right? Um, something that we've been impressed with as fans is how Ralph has spoken to the press about players such yeah. as Paul Pogba and Anthony Martial are two players yes. who we don't know whether they're going to stay at Manchester United or not. Now, Ralph has said that, Manchester United, a club of Manchester United's size, should not be trying to convince anybody to stay at the club. Yes. And when it came to Anthony Martial, he said, um, I won't be listening to what agents say in the press. If, if an agent or a player wants to speak to me directly, then I will listen to them. Yes. Is, does, has that happened with Ralph before with any players that he's had to deal with that in the press, players who are trying to leave the club? And yes, yes. No, he, he, he doesn't like it uh, when, when players are, are, are speaking in, in the press uh, about their, their dreams or, or they want to leave the club or to stay. Uh, he wants to, to speak one to one uh, with, a, with a player. And uh, this relationship is, is very important for, for Ralph to work. In, in a good way with the, with the players. Um, for sure, it's, it's necessary to speak also with the agents. And I think Ralph had also a good relationship to, to the most important uh, agents. And uh, yes, he's a, a serious guy, a serious guy. He he's stay up in the morning at five o'clock, I think, and he go in bed at late at, uh, 11 o'clock p.m. And then he drink one tea and <laughs> And uh, yes, and uh, I think also you make a little bit yoga and then he sleep well. And he told me you to give up alcohol. It's not good for you. Give up tobacco, no cigars, no cigarettes. And yes, give up your nightlife. And uh, yes, I said, Ralph, OK, for you, your life is OK. And my life, my lifestyle is another <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> uh, are, there any, are there any stories you can you can you can tell us about, you know, any anything? Any stories that you might have about Ralph that I don't know on a, that you've had yourself from a, from a friendly perspective because it would be good to understand and get to know the man that we won't be able to see as fans. We'll only see him as the manager, but you yes. say he's got a different side to him. Yeah, he's also uh, uh, he has. A, I asked my girlfriend what's the name for he he makes a, a, a company to to make a social social things for for kids i don't know the word in, in germany it's called stiftung he's, he's he's working as a social worker also and he think about uh, kids who are not in in uh, who are not uh, able to to play uh, in in the school to 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 play music or to to learn on the computer and he's very engaged in in this way but he's not only football Football is 99%, but also we think about people which is uh, not, not so, we are not so, so happy. And uh, he's a very, very, very nice guy. And for me, I ask him, Ralph, why, why you, you, you don't quit now your, your job as a manager? You have enough money. I think he's, he's a rich man. But he said, money is not important for me. Money, I, yes, I have enough money. And he spends no no money. He spent nothing, huh? uh, And he said, "I want to. I want success." And uh, three or four years ago, he told me that a dream is the Premier League and a dream is Manchester United. And now a dream comes true for for him and, and also for the club. And he's in a crazy in a positive way. 
Absolutely. And that's, that's definitely the impression that we all get and the impression I get from you as well. Now, uh, something that's happened so far is he's brought in a couple of new people. He's brought in Chris Armas from New York Red Bulls and he's brought in Sasha Lense as a sports psychologist. Yes. But but this week, uh, Manchester United, we've had Kieran McKenna, who was an assistant manager, and Martin Pert, who was a coach. Both of them have left the club now. So do you would you expect Ralph to bring more coaches in? And and I wanted to have a conversation with you about Jesse Marsh, who of course was RB Leipzig manager and was only sacked, what was it, twelve days ago? Yes. Is is there any is there any chance you think that Jesse could come into Manchester United or do you think there's no chance that he would come in on such a short term basis? Oh, I think now in this moment, uh, Jesse is um, very disappointed about his his time and about his end in in Leipzig, and he's uh, for a holiday with his wife in in Los Angeles. Um, and I think it it was what, he had one chance to to celebrate uh, in the in the Bundesliga in Germany or to have succeed. But he now I think uh, there's no more choice for him. Uh, no more no chance to, for him to, to work in, in the first league in, in Germany. And yes, he worked together with Ralf uh, a few years ago in Leipzig and uh, they they uh, respect each other. And uh, perhaps if, if Ralf will ask uh, Jesse to join Manchester United, I think for sure he would say, yes, everybody, also me, if you ask me, come to Manchester United <laughs> as a... As, uh, uh, for the for the crash uh, for Freddy, what's his name? Gärtner for uh, uh, yes. Every everybody who's asking for for a job uh, by Manchester United would say yes. Okay, I think they have also a good contact, Ralph and, and Jesse, and perhaps it it will work. Why not? Do you would you know any other coaches that you believe Ralph might take a look at now that McKenna has gone because Sasha Lense has come in as well, and we've already spoken about him. Are there any other coaches you, you might be able to name for us that maybe you believe Ralph could t could get on the phone to, could contact in terms of bringing somebody else in? Yes, um, it's not so easy to, to get a, a, a good one. Uh, uh, Ralph is, say, says that he needs, to, for every position, the best man, or also the best woman, and uh, I think the, the best are are in a job, they have a job. And uh, I, I, I don't know uh, which uh, coaches he, he will he will looking for in, in Germany, perhaps also in, in Austria and Salzburg or in, in New York. I don't know exactly, but I will ask him after our interview. OK. And um, and how is how has Sasha got on so far? Sasha Lense is come in as our sports psychologist. You sent him a message of congratulations after yes. he got the job. How has he got on in the first week or two in, in being in Manchester? Is he now is he settled in? Is he settled into the club? Yes, he's, yes. Uh, he he was I think was without a job. Um, he worked in in Leipzig together with Ralph, and after Ralph's uh, after Ralph quits here in 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 Leipzig, he he joined Schalke 04 and also Dynamo Dresden. And nowadays he was without a job, and it's it's for him. It's uh, it's. It's great. It's great to go to go to Manchester United, and I think it's it's an important uh, it's an important man. Um, we we can we can see this in, in Leipzig. They have no um, uh, mental mentally to coach, and uh, I think he he will bring uh, a piece of of success to Manchester United. He's able to do this. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how how he properly settles in. Now, somebody you mentioned there just a little bit before, and that's Amadou Haidara. Now, we've, we've been linked with a potential move in January for him. And I'd like to ask you, as, as somebody who's followed Leipzig and you've seen how Haidara has grown at the club, yes. uh, how, how important is he to this current Leipzig team? Uh, and can you explain what, what sort of footballer he is? Yes, uh, yeah, Amadou is, is potential a potential world-class player. But in this moment, he, he's not world-class, in my opinion. Um, and 
also in my opinion it's, it's not a, it's not in this moment a player for Manchester United but okay um, he's important player for RB Leipzig yes is a good technique he can he can handle uh, with can shoot with both legs uh, and he's not so fast this is the disadvantage in his match he's not as fast as as uh, uh, Keita or or um, what's the other player Sadio Mane I love Sadio Mane. He's not as fast as Sadio. Um, he's, I think, he's nearly a complete player. Uh, a good, a good heart, also good mentality, and also very hard in, in the tackles. Perhaps under the uh, under the coaching from Ralf Rangnick, um, he can grow up to a player for Manchester United. Yes, he has the potential. Yes. Without now, do you, do you do you think um, what is the situation uh, with Leipzig? Is is it a case that? that Leipzig might consider selling Hadara in January or is it a case of holding on to him? What's, what, what would you say is, is the most likely situation if Manchester United were to come in for Hadara, would he move? Yes, I think in the, in the midfield, RB Leipzig, um, they have enough players. and Therefore, if, if Manchester United will give much money to Leipzig, <laughs> I think to flat, perhaps 20 or 25 million, Euros, then it's it's possible that RB Leipzig would say yes, okay, and um, I think Haidara is also a player uh, who, whose dream is the Premier League, and the biggest club is is Manchester United. And if an offer will come, I think I'm sure he will go to the to the RB Leipzig bosses and say, please let me go to uh, to Manchester United. Perhaps it will work. Yes. What uh, what if I can ask? What sort of relationship did Ragnik and Haidara have before? Were they, was he a player that played very well underneath Ralph Ragnik? Was Haidara, did he, because he's spoken very highly of Ragnik as a coach, said he's been very important to him so far. Yes, it was a problem when, uh, when Haidara joined Leipzig, I think two years ago, he, had, he, was, he was injured and um, it, it takes time to to bring his uh, to bring his, his level uh, takes I think one a half year or eight months. Then when he was fit, then you see the the real uh, uh, Amadou Haidara. Um, I told you he's he's a, a, per, a quite perfect player, but the the pace the the, the speed is is not is, is 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 not good enough. But I think also in the midfield you can you can uh, play without a uh, super speed. You are able to do it. You you play with the with the with the eyes and uh, so Charlie Alonso and also wasn't fast players but world class players. As a, is Hadara somebody who understands the pressing game because I yes. think that that that's that's the sort of midfielder that Manchester United need to sign. Yes, he's one of the best uh, pressing men in, in, in the squad from RB Leipzig, and uh, I love this his style. He's he's, he's also a hard player. A good tackle, and I think in in, in no effort, they they love hard tackles now, and successful tackles. Yeah, well, that's that's important for sure. Now, when if I can ask you one final question about the January transfer window, it, in his time at Leipzig and Salzburg, did Ralph Ragnick like to make January signings, or do you do you expect him to? bring somebody into Manchester United in January? Or do you think it's a bit different because he came to Manchester United during the season and didn't have the summer? It's uh, the January transfers are in many cases are difficult. Um, yes, I, I don't think that he, he, he can choose the players he, he wanted. But uh, if it's possible to get a, a good guy, then I think Ralph will will manage it. Uh, the one or two players definitely will come to Manchester United, and um, he told me in in former times when when I make a transfer in January, that's for him is uh, is the transfer. Um, also, he's for, for the for the coming summer. Then he said, okay, he will come in the summer. Then when it's possible, we 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 buy him directly in January. This is his uh, idea from from uh, transfers. Mm -hmm. Well, I I personally hope he does because I think I think he needs one inside this Manchester United yes. squad. I think we we do have a talented squad, but if you if did you manage to watch the Norwich game at all? Yes. 
it was it was a game where Manchester United we didn't have that sort of control, the control yes. that Ragnick likes, and I think he's missing that inside that midfield, and that's why for me someone like Haidara, I yes. think it, it, it kind of makes sense, right? It kind of makes sense. Yes. But um, hey, look, Guido, thank you very much for for joining me again today. Uh, I want to I want to wish you luck on moving apartment. I hope that goes well. Uh, thank you, and my friend. And, and I want to wish you a happy Christmas as well from everybody at United People's TV. Uh, Same to you. you. I'd love to have you on again at some point in the future. But yeah, I hope you have a great Christmas and a great New Year, my friend. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> I love him. This is, Every... he's deep in my heart, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's deep in everyone's heart. Hey, look, Good thank you very thank Sorry you very for much, my English. Judith. Sorry, no, sorry. You're, you're, your English is shun. <laughs> yes have a good bye day bye. my friend and I'll speak to you again soon <laughs> bye bye <laughs>